Hi, I'm NASA Kennedy's Dylan Gladney, and I'm outside KSC taking you inside KSC. The solid rocket boosters that will launch NASA's Space Launch System rocket and Orion spacecraft on Artemis are beginning to come together at the Kennedy Space Center. The boosters have been mated to the rocket's two aft skirts inside the spaceport's rotation, processing, and surge facility. Manufactured in Utah by Northrop Grumman, the segments were shipped to Kennedy by rail earlier this month. Next, the boosters will move to the nearby vehicle assembly building where they will be stacked on top of the mobile launcher. The twin boosters will provide more than 75% of the SLS rocket's total thrust at liftoff. Artemis will then test the SLS and Orion as an integrated system, leading up to human missions to the moon. Oh say can you see. Kennedy's most prominent landmark is getting an updated look. The NASA logo and American flag on the south wall of the 525 foot tall vehicle assembly building are being repainted. It will take more than 500 gallons of paint to cover the flag, which measures 209 by 110 feet, and the logo, which measures 110 by 132 feet. HM2 and HIS painting of Titusville, Florida are completing the massive paint job. The iconic building was last repainted in 2007, following repairs due to hurricane damage. For more Inside KSC, follow us on social media or check us out at nasa.gov forward slash Kennedy.